up today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the January 8th, the fantastic Friday edition of today's Trader's Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I can make that one little two by four shift means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I will go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past one o'clock in the afternoon. I want you to know that I am absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during this next 16 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, well, we've got you covered there, too. You can always send me an email, steve at tfnn.com. Inside that subject heading, please put radio show question, of course, in our Tigers den. Well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on Fantastic Friday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. Again, I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Les Show. A little bit of a mixed bag out here. The Dow's up 85. The S&P is up 5. NASDAQ is up 98. The Russell's down 9. Semis are up 6. The Trannies are up 130. New York Stock Exchange is just slightly flat. Spot volatilics continues to trade lower. That bodes well for the S&P, which would suggest a move higher or sideways. Gold, we're going to start off by taking a look at gold. I'm sure you'd want to understand where price is headed to. If there's any bottoming signals, it's off 72 bucks. It's nearly 4%. Trading out at 1841. Silver's off $2.46. That's 9% to the downside. Light sweet crude is up 96 pennies, nearly 2% to the upside. Natural gas is back 4 cents. The 30 year Treasury is off 24 30 seconds. Trading out at 168.15. The leaders to the upside. Mercado Libre, 103 points. Tesla, 59. WD-40, uh, up 39. Chipotle, up 35. Booking Holdings, 31. To the downside, Srepta Therapeutics, up 85 bucks. That's a 50% haircut. Yikes. SVB Financial, up 12 bucks. iRhythm, out of rhythm, off 11 bucks. And Humana is down 11, uh, over 11 bucks, 2.5%. But let's begin by taking a look at Goldilocks. The first question is, now, each of you know, many of you know, that uh, we on a couple of days ago on Wednesday, gold had generated that uh, a Gartley sell pattern. So we were put on warning what to expect and anticipate with regard to gold. It's coming to fruition out there. So you got to love these topping patterns and topping signals. What we didn't know was whether or not price would be able to break through the bullish structured daily profile. Well, more than broke through it. That was at 1882. Unless there is some gigantic move to the upside, you're going to get a change in trend signal for its daily time frame. But do we get a change in trend signal for the weekly time frame? We do not. When would we get that? Now, what I have up on my screen here is I have my synthetic version of the gold contract. That allows me, it's a better way of stitching together all of the equity futures contracts to be able to go to these longer term time periods, weekly, monthly, quarterly, to generate a set of profiles to give us a feel for where price is headed to. So the next key level, and that's the, this profile here is going to look different than when I put up my other weekly chart. Both are correct, but both are values for us to be able to take a look at. So the key level here to be watching, and you could easily see this get hit today. In fact, the short-term time frame charts do not show any bottoming signals, not as of yet, and therefore price is headed to 1820.850 to be exact. Not that I'm trying to be exact, but 1828.50 is the bottom of that 
and it is a bullish structured weekly profile. If you see a close below that, yes, we really need two consecutive closes, not two daily. This would be two weekly. But still a close below that says, okay, this could turn out to be a move back to the 1735 level, 1719. 1735 is the center of its bearish structured monthly profile. 1719 is the top of its quarterly profile. So that's the current signals right there. Let's pull over my other charts. On my other charts, you see, I can't put up a monthly chart and have it really make a ton of sense. I do have some data, which, by the way, was a monthly TD9 count tops. So when we saw that daily uh, signal out there, uh, the uh, Gertley sell pattern, you know, that was saying, hey, be careful. Um, here on the weekly time frame chart, you'll see another profile level at 1808. So here are your potential areas of support. 1820, 850. So that's level, that would be one level. 1808.40, and below that would be 1733.20. More likely than not, where price is headed to is at 1733.20 level. In other words, gold formed a TD9 count top. It formed a road momentum indicator top for its weekly time frame. What we saw transpire this week is a test of the oscillator and change line. It's been a test and rejection out there. And so this is signaling to you and I that price is going to pull back to where it broke out from on the weekly time frame. That's at the 1732 level. Bigger picture, longer term, price could be pulling back to 1327 out there. If we look at the 30-minute time, now why would even Stevie even suggest those types of things out there? Uh, I would suggest that because U.S. dollar index bottomed. You and I covered that yesterday. We'll go ahead and cover that again today. And so the U.S. dollar has bottomed. It's going to fight with its profile levels. We'll take a look at that and the price get above those. Then these other larger areas really can come into play. So be careful out there. Use stops. Here is a 30-minute time frame. You can see that the TD9 count uh, bottom never came to fruition, didn't form out here. The low was not on bars nine, the bar following nine, or bar eight out here. Price is moving lower to a less route of energy. If we didn't see a bullish reversal candle, we could see a bounce. So there is, on a short-term basis, the potential for some type of intraday uh, bounce. That would probably take price up to 18, 1853. Am I making that call now? Of course not. We don't have the actual confirmation of that bottoming pattern of that road's momentum signal out there. I'd suggest that you learn how to use this uh, pattern. It will help you for everything and anything that you trade and being able to identify and spot tops or bottoms for every pattern out there. I teach that to you. Just subscribe to Mastering Probability. You get 30-day free access out there. So you've got to ask yourself the reason. Why wouldn't you learn that pattern out there? I don't have the answer to that. That pattern is used all over the place out here. The U.S. dollar index, when it bottomed, it was the road's momentum indicator pattern. Here, price moving lower, less relative energy, bullish reversal candle yesterday. Price now with inside the daily profile. Price has gotten up to a level of resistance. So what we don't know is whether or not the U.S. dollar index is going to be able to generate a change in trend signal. It's telling us it wants to. To prove itself to us, price must close above where the sellers are at. And sellers are in the range of 90.12 to 90.37. Isn't it kind of cool that you and I can be that specific, that exact out there? This is no willy-nilly. This is not Steve pulling something out of his arse or anything like that. This is just looking at the charts and the tools and understanding where buyers and sellers reside. So if the U.S. dollar index closes above 90.37, that will generate a change in trend signal and tell you that price is headed to what its intent is, is to move up to 92.50. Please, folks, there's a lot of folks out there thinking the U.S. dollar index is headed lower, whether it's this administration or what have you. Focus on the chart patterns here. You've got a bottom in the U.S. dollar index, and above 90.37, you can expect a lot of heat in precious metals. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. Do you have broken or unwanted jewelry, diamonds, watches, coins, silverware, and other collectibles that you would like to turn into cash? Tiger Precious Metals and Stones will pay fair market value. We make it easy to turn your precious metals that are sitting around in your house into cash. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245, and he will walk you through our safe and secure process. Andy has been in the business buying and selling precious metals for over 15 years. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. C C call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Let's go out to one of our callers, Yvonne. Yvonne, uh, no, I, I'm sorry, we've got uh, Marlene. Marlene, uh, Marlene, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Oh, I'm doing great. How, how are you doing today? I am doing uh, very well. Thank you for asking. And is it Shopify that you want to take a look at? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great if you could do that. I appreciate it. You're my hero, and I'm sure you're everybody else's hero, too. Wow! Didn't I even know I had. It. I didn't even know I could could fall into that category. But uh, tell right. me what you're doing. Uh, for, thank for that. Thank, thanks for that nice compliment, by the way. And but tell me what you're doing here and how I can help you. Uh, I, I I bought it. I owned it for quite a while, and now I actually bought some more shares uh, for another account that I had. And I just uh, want to make sure that it's going to keep going. It seems like you know on a profile that it's uh, going to head to. Uh, I think I had some numbers on it. It's on the paper, you know, but, sure. you know, I mean, the way the market is, I don't know if it's going to uh, be able to make it there because, you know, obviously time is passing. So I don't know if uh, we're past uh, any kind of uh, situations where we're going to do a, you know, a pullback. Okay. So uh, if we take a look at Shopify, so you've been in for a while, so that's great. And I don't have anything on my charts right now that would say you should exit that position. Okay. The weekly time frame. So on an intermediate, time, but but there is there's a, there's a battle that's taking place today. That is the top of the daily profile. So there's a new profile that formed. So uh, okay. on your sheet of paper, uh, you want to write down 1184.89. That's your resistance area. Support okay. would be between the range of 1091 to 1107. If price were to close below, and this is a bullish structured profile. So if price were to, if you saw two consecutive closes below 1091.60, that would 
that should prepare you for lower price. Now, the initial lower price target that I would come up with is probably 993.15. Um, but we'd want to take a look at it then. You don't have that scenario right now. Instead, we just have price getting up to resistance, holding that uh, level out there. That then shifts my eyes over to the weekly time frame. And on the weekly time frame, what Shopify did about four weeks ago was it broke out of a consolidation pattern. That really had been in place since about June of 2020. So between June of 2020 all the way up to December, the middle of December out there uh, was a consolidation. Price broke out the week of December 14th. And this week has been a retest of the top of that consolidation. And Marlene, that's the reason why I am saying right. when I look at the charts here, I don't see a reason for you to exit this trade, at least not just yet. And then our eyes can shift one more box on the right hand side and you'll see that from a monthly standpoint right now in january price is above the top of its bearish structured monthly profile and that's 1146.91 now granted we're really early in the month out there but still we'll take right. the information that we have and trading above resistance is helpful so i would say that the real key number for you to be watching is going to be this 1184.89 if price can close above that that's going to give you somewhat of your all clear signal that price should resume and when i say resume the consolidation gave us what we'd call a measured move. It was equal to that consolidation. So when once a consolidation is broken, we just take that same square, rectangle, whatever it is, and just can add it to the top or the bottom to give us a price projection. And that's an initial price projection. When I say initial, typically when you break consolidations, you do a move equal to or greater than. So I'm just giving you the equal to, and the equal to is around the 1342 level. You can't hold me to that exact price, but that's a, the right. range where it, it uh, uh, yeah. Shopify should head to on a close right. of 1184.89. Okay, does that help? Okay, yeah, that, that helps. That's the number I had actually. Um, that sounds great. And how long would it take me to to be? Uh, I don't know, somewhat as good as you. Obviously, I, I'm not, most likely never get there, but at least uh, be able to do things in 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 your uh, nine count in your um, your uh, your program because obviously I just. Sure. Uh, the, the best watching way the show and it's everybody on the show is just fabulous, you know. I mean, so. Yeah, no, the TFN provides a great, a, a great, right. um, a great environment for for each individual, and none of us. I mean, we, we speak to each other periodically, but we don't, right. we don't get together with each other every day to say, hey, what are you doing? What are you calling? What do you see? You know, we don't do that. So you get fresh faces right. that uh, look at charts and give you uh, their their opinion. To answer your question, though, as far as right. the, how long does it take? You know, if you had I to do know. everything that I had to do, it would take a long time. Right. What I try to do in the workshops uh, that are right. on uh, the members page, if you subscribe to the newsletter, is I really try to condense decades worth of information into an hour by right. just simply focusing, helping you focus on just what you need to know about the specific patterns that I use. So that should really reduce the time period. And then it just becomes like anything in life. How much time are you willing to immerse yourself into right. what it is that you're trying to learn? It wouldn't matter whether it's golf or tennis or it's a uh, stock charting. Right. You know, so right. but but I will okay. share with you that I, I really do try to condense decades worth of information in an hour so I can truly get you on uh, on your way out there. So um, hopefully you'll take advantage of that. Right. I, I agree. Every, everybody should. Um, you know, I, I don't know if you can get to the end, though. I know at the, at the end sometimes things change. And so then obviously you have to be aware of that. And when it when it changes, then, you know, you've got to go in another direction. <laughs> it's the way yeah. it always is. Well, we're always learning. We're and always it has learning. To do with the market There's... sometimes. So. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Marlene, it was great to speak to you. Okay. Thanks so much for calling. Thank you. And I look forward to Thanks. speaking to you again. You bet. You bet. Okay. Uh, yep. Yes. Uh, we have a few questions that have also come in, folks. I want to get to those. One, I believe, was from um, Yvonne. Yvonne wanted to take a look at QS was the ticker symbol out here. And QS is Quantum Scape Corp. And I believe that what Yvonne was looking for was a buy point of about $50. <clears throat> now, Yvonne, we don't have a ton of data out here. It looks like this became public back in August of 2020. And so our weekly and our monthly timeframes from a profile standpoint are not going to assist us with anything. Let's just focus on the daily here. And you've thrown out the figure of, of $50. So what we saw here in QuantumScape was a gigantic gap to the downside on January the 4th as we came back. And that was with volume of uh, 84 million shares. 
Now, a new profile formed yesterday. And the nice thing about that new profile is it tells you where there's a next level of support. That next level of support is at 5480. I'm not necessarily saying that 5480 would be your entry point out here. And the reason why I have to be cautious about this, and you should too, is because of that gigantic gap to the downside. Now, price is trading with inside that gap. What I mean by that is really trading inside the candle session of that day. That extends itself from $61 at the high, even Stephen, we're trading at 57.31, at the low, 47.40. Without the profile, Yvonne, I would have said you'd be looking at possibly an area around 47.40, and what you'd be looking for there is a test and rejection on lighter volume. Uh, and that would be one possibility to uh, get yourself into a trade. But I'd have to say caution, still caution out here. I wish we had more data. Um, we don't. Now, price is pulling back into that swing point as we speak. And any close today above 61 bucks seems likely that that will happen. That is going to suggest ordinarily, Tom, myself, David White, we would say, this we could be uniform on, we'd say, hey, you close inside a swing point, with or without volume, chances are you're going to go test the bottom. If you close with volume, we would say with conviction you're going to go test the low. But you close inside that swing point, likely price is going to go test the 4740 level. So 50 bucks, not so sure that 50 bucks is your entry level. And you need to be careful. Why does she need to be careful? Because let's see where this thing actually broke out from. Can we find a breakout here in the next 10 seconds? Uh, you know what? There's not enough data out here to do that. I can't. Well, We'll be back from this break. I'll see if I can uh, find that answer. Steve Rhodes with TFN. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006. And like many of you, was drawn in by, Bam! as well as, Whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. 
This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So, Yvonne, I uh, figured this out uh, over the uh, over that uh, breakout here. Now, this chart here isn't showing today's data, but today will become bar number eight of a TD9 count. You need to see Quantum Skate take out the uh, lows of a few days ago, the low of the, the, low of the current uh, week, and uh, do that on uh, Monday or Tuesday to generate a potential TD9 count bottom. Short of that, Price could easily pull back to 1664. That is where price had broken out from on QuantumScape. So um, be careful uh, with that one. Let's go to uh, Gary in uh, New Buffalo, Michigan. Uh, Gary, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Uh -oh. Do we have Gary? Well, if we do, I can't hear Gary. So let's do this. I uh, lost him. In case he calls back, I'll hold off a bit. But if I don't, if Gary, if you don't call back, I'll still cover this for you. New skin, I believe. Um, he's here. Yeah, okay, great. Call back. Great, great. Hey, how you doing, Gary? Happy, healthy, and blessed New Year, buddy. And uh, you. to you and your loved ones. Thank you. Same same to you. And uh, uh, quantum skin, not quantum skin, new skin is uh, what right. you would like to chat about. So tell me what you're doing here. I think you're a long-time holder, but tell everybody else what, are you, what you're doing here and how I can help you. Sure. Well, what I did was, you know, when we talked initially, we were kind of breaking out a bit because we had earnings and uh, they were really good. They've been above expectations twice now, two different quarters. And uh, bottom line is, but it ran up and then at 58, not quite to 58, 50. And, um, um, but, you know, it was blue sky above that, but it, hit resistance and then trended down around 50 and then i just kept buying uh, more options um okay and um i now want to see where we're at as far as breakout points on the upside uh so i need to accelerate that buying or or um you know nope. get ready for the next one yep you're not going to accelerate the buying not just yet and here's the reason why and this is a, this is a, a bit of a uh, it, the reason is that on the week that began September 28, 2020, when it made a high of 5701, that was bar number mm -hmm. nine of a TD9 count. So we're looking at just the weekly time frame. That led to a uh, at least a short term top because price did go ahead and pull back. Never made its way back to 4551, which was the bottom of the weekly profile. It got to 4665. The reason why I'm saying you don't want to add to positions today and I'm referring to uh, how price is trading right now. But let me give you that number. That number is going to be that high of that session from the week of September 28 or 5701. 5701 also happens to be the top of its bear structured weekly profile. A close below 5701 today says the TD9 count top that's in place and the bear structured profile have held. And that says that then if you can't bust them out, maybe price is going to try to bust them down. Sort of the signal, I think, that we're looking at on the daily time frame. So where would it be that price would bust itself down to? That level would be 5408. That would be the first area that we would take a look at. It could be get below that, but 5408 is the top of, or 5406, that is the top of the uh, daily profile that formed last week out there. So that's really coming from the weekly chart. Um, am I saying to jettison your position? I'm not saying that, but I am saying at this stage here, because resistance is held on that larger term or weekly time frame, I wouldn't add until you get to lower price. And again, that initial target right now is in the 54 range. Great. Good help. I, I do have some options that are coming in March that I think I, I'm too aggressive on. So I, I, I've learned the, I'm getting bit in the butt on one of my gold stocks. Uh, but being too close to that expiration um, big time. So I'm going to learn on this one and get rid of some of the high flyers and maybe go put them back in the lower when we get down to that mm -hmm. lower number, thanks to you. Yeah, so, so there's, a, there's, a, uh, yeah, there's another reason to be cautious, just again, caution here, that is the monthly chart, which if we just look at it, which we are right now looking at it from a profile standpoint, we're like, hey, this is great. Price is above the top of that profile. And it is. And that's normally a bullish uh, indication out here. But the profiles just really tell us for each of the time frames, whatever time frame it is we decide to look at, where buyers and sellers are lined up. 
when you can get above the uh, sellers out there, okay, great, you're going to run higher. But it doesn't tell us about patterns. On a monthly basis, January is uh, going to, well, January is now in bar number nine, depending on its close. And if uh, price closes the month out, which we're early into it, but closes about 5009, I think is the number, 5009, uh, then you're going to have a valid TD9 count top on your monthly time frame. So, again, it, it's caution. The weekly, if this was really busting out, you would have seen a close above that 5701, and our discussion would be, hey, good move on adding, and yeah, you can continue adding to it. But we don't have those signals right now. They're each suggesting we should see a bit of a retracement. So I'd, I'd be patient. Great. Thanks for all the effort, and I'm going to spend the weekend. i got a writing partner now uh, going bet. through all your great uh, newsletter um uh, archives with the uh, training you've got. you got so much there. And I love your old um, um, you know, money management uh, YouTube videos that are out there cool. from cool. a number of years ago. Those are very, very um, good. Uh, good. Great, uh, well, great thank, you. thank you. Thank for you for using those and, and paying attention to it. That's really wonderful. And uh, have, a, have a fantastic weekend. And go Red Wings. Okay, bye. <laughs> you bet. Be you bet. Go Red Wings. Okay, so let's see. What, uh, what i got to figure out, what did I not get to... Um, I tell you one thing I didn't get to. There was a request here by Mike M. So a couple by email. We got one from Mike and one from John. Let me get to those. So Mike M. wants to take a look at Lulu Lemon out here. L U L U, L U L U is a ticker symbol. So let's go look at that. And Mike is saying uh, Lulu for a target into January twenty second. Uh, I've got a call spread. My target at this time is three seventy five to three eighty. Three seventy five to three eighty out here do we see anything that's a problem i'm just looking at profiles so you're above the daily you're above the monthly you're with inside the weekly so what you need to know is 377.36 which is held up for three four of the last six weeks you know where resistance is it is the top of that profile 377.36 so it's it's close to within inside your spread range but it's at the lower range there you're concerned about the general market that it may not hold up through next week we can come back to that and take a look at that too but specifically with regard to lululemon your clear resistance is at 37.36. Now, if price can get through 37.36, then I just am taking a look at my descending trend line out here off of the prior tops from Lululemon, and that would get you up into about the 385-ish area. So I'm guessing that is where your 380 comes from. But maybe what you didn't have was the weekly profile level, and so perhaps this is going to help you out and assist you with that trade. As I pull over the daily and the 30-minute time frame chart here, for Lululemon, let me just pull this up open as well. Which wants to make sure, come on, work with me. Just want to make sure that there's no other pattern or anything that Mike needs to be aware of. Um, and there's, so there's nothing I see here. And on the opening range charts, I don't know why some of this data isn't being updated. What a real bummer. 363.05. This is 366. So shoot. That's not going to help me out. Uh, Mike, that's the best information that I can give to you at this moment. So I hope that helps you out. Thanks so much for writing and have a great weekend. Uh, John in Sarasota wanted to take a look at Plug. So let's get this up on our screen here. We're going to go to a hard break, John. When we get back, we'll take a look at it. Uh, trading out at 51, uh, 52 bucks right now. A nice gap to the upside, a little doji candle, but boy, everything here looks good above the top of the daily, weekly, and monthly. So we just need to go back and see if uh, Plug has any kind of a uh, topping signal and that's what i'll do during this break we'll be right back hi folks this is tom o'brien are you looking to buy or sell gold silver platinum coins or bullion we can help at Tiger Precious Metals and Stones, we specialize in the buying and selling of gold, silver, as well as collectible U.S. and foreign coins. We not only buy your unwanted or broken jewelry, but you can trade that in for gold and silver coins, too. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245 for a quote over the phone and to lock in the current market price. Call us now at 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. 
TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back. So we're looking at plug for John in Sarasota. So John, here's what I learned uh, during the uh, break on the on the monthly time frame. You you have a TD nine count this this month. Actually, last month was bar number nine. This is the bar following bar number nine. So this can be a top. You are in uh, the bar. Well, let me make sure about that. You are on the weekly chart. You are in the bar following bar number nine as well. So this is pretty cool because your question was, hey, what are my choices out here? Well, I, if you're in the stock, one of your choices would be always to take profits. Am I suggesting that you do that? No, I'm not suggesting that you do that. What I'm suggesting that you do now is you watch this week's high. This week's high is 55.98. If price begins trading above that or closes above that next week, that tells you about a continued strong acceleration move to the upside. If not, you've got a caution signal. Now, on the daily time frame, you've got a gap to the upside. Right now, it looks like a little bit of a doji candle. If this were to gap down, you'd have an island top at an all-time high. So the weekly and the monthly are suggesting a bit of caution here, not suggesting that you jettison the position, but also not suggesting that you add to your position. So you ask, what are your options? I think your option is to hold or sell. Sell, not short, hold or sell and take profits, but not uh, short um, a plug out there. So I hope that that helps you out. Let's go to Brent in uh, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you this afternoon? I'm uh, doing well, Steve, and yourself. I am doing well. I guess it's still morning time for you. And uh, it is. You have, yeah, so you've got a uh, just a general question? Yeah, I just. Um was wondering your thoughts on the fact that it seems like we've been having a little bit of divergence. I mean, it's, I guess it's starting to change a little bit now since I've been on the phone with you, but there's a point earlier when, you know, the NASDAQ was up, the Dow was down, and then if you go back to Wednesday, it was just the opposite, where the Dow had a pretty strong day and the NASDAQ was relatively weak, so I just wonder what your thoughts were on that, and then also if you could just go over the VIX, uh, you know, if we're are getting near a top with the 50-day moving averages, just, you know, what areas to be watching there. Sure. Okay, perfect. So that's great. So with regard to the um, – so let's see. How do we want to handle – Let's first, let's just take a look at really ultra short-term. When I say ultra short-term, just simply a 30-minute time frame uh, so that uh, folks can be aware of, of what's transpiring. So 
part of the question, maybe maybe this is part of your question or not, but certainly for others, we're all trying to figure out, hey, is there going to be a top? If there is a top, is you know, when when does that take place out there? So if there's going to be a change in trend, what we should see is we should see breakout support levels on the short term time frame begin to fall. What I have on my screen right now are the four equity future contracts for their 30 minute time frame. That's really the shortest time frame that I'll use to make it that type of determination. The ES mini, its breakout level is 37.92.75. A second close below that, that would be by two o'clock, would suggest lower price. That lower price could be 37.55. The NQ, which you had mentioned, has not even come close to making its way back to its breakout area. And it's quite a ways down. It's 300 points down from where we're trading right now, Brent. So, but but still, the NQ would actually have to begin would have to close below 12 684.75 to generate that same breakdown message out there, even with the week that it had. But it's more about what it's done here recently. The Dow equity future contract has broken through its first level of TD9 breakout support, as has the Russell 2000. So you mentioned the divergence. I want to be able to show this and say, boy, we've got a long way before the NQ would generate a change in trend signal for just its 30 minute time frame. But we don't want to stop there. And I would say let's go ahead and stick with the NQ. So let's do this uh, because as we take a look at it, we want to understand pattern wise. Hey, where is it at? What is it doing on a daily basis? It's signal very likely is going to be different than what we take a look at for the ES mini or, or the Dow. So we're trying to. Oh, geez, Louise. I have to actually type in the correct symbol here, Brent. My, my apology. Uh, so now let's see if we can get this thing populated. So the question becomes, what does the end of day bar look like? Right now, it's actually a shooting star. So if the if the market were to close right here, we would have a, a road momentum indicator topping signal because price has been moving higher, doing less relative energy out there. But price is also above the top of its daily profile and slightly above its oscillator and change line. And what that really does, Brent, it puts us into a neutral position. Price at least has to give us a bearish reversal candle and at least get through one level of resistance. In this case here, it happens to be support, old resistance, which right now is support, the top of the daily profile and the oscillator and change line. So that's the message on the daily time frame. Now, look, it doesn't have to generate a bearish reversal candle today. It could do that on Monday and confirm a road momentum indicator top. So what is the weekly chart for the NQ showing us? Well, when we take a look at the weekly time frame chart, we see that this is the bar following bar number nine. If this is a top, folks, then, uh, and if it's a top of significance, you will not see a close above this week's high. You certainly won't see it next week. So it's kind of like one of the other stocks we were looking at. It might have been Plug, I think, for John and Sarah Soda. And the cool thing here, Brent, is if we do begin seeing price next week trading above today's, uh, this week's high inside the NQ, and certainly close above this week's high next week, that's going to be telling us that, at least from my signal standpoint, we don't have a topping pattern that's in play. So any questions about the NQ so far? No, and I do appreciate you showing the, the you know, other uh, indices as well, you know, with the, with the Russell and, the, you know, of course, the S&P and the Dow and the fact that they, you know, are below certain levels it hasn't even gotten close to yet. So that's very helpful that you showed that. Yeah, it's just it's trying to because, you know, if, if we didn't have all this detail to look at to understand what the market's communicating to us, you know, you'd say after Monday's drive down and you're starting to see a flip here, you'd be like all over the fact that, uh, OK, you know, things are headed south. And, and maybe they are. But in the NQ, nothing's been broken just yet. Different in the ES, like we looked at with price being below 3792 level. And that opens up. And the, by the way, this had a road momentum indicator topping pattern and now price is below support. Support. that says hey the next support level could be its target that's 3755 that's just coming from that 30 minute time frame chart the daily chart now inside of the es mini is saying sorry there's no topping signal price is moving higher doing less relative energy but we don't have that bearish reversal candle and in this case here price is above the top of its oscillator and chain or the, it's above the top of its daily profile 
and it's above its oscillator and change line. So this is just intraday shuffling that we're getting here. Now, if you get a bearish reversal candle at the end of today's trading session, okay, different message. Uh, but we don't have that as we speak at 149 in the afternoon. And on a weekly basis, much like the NQ, the same rule applies here for the ES. This is the week following bar number nine. That says that this week's high is a muy importante high out there. Because if price closes above that next week, this tells you, folks, that we're going to higher price. And by higher price, that means that we're going to go ahead and complete those consolidation measured move breakout patterns. Now, you might be saying, what, what, what the heck is that? Well, staying with the equity futures contracts, let me get back here, that would say that the ES Mini is headed towards 39.52, the NQ towards 14.169, the Dow towards 32.080, and the Russell God only knows where it's headed to. Um, so that's what I'm seeing right now, Brent, when I take a look at this. We're about to go to a hard break. Uh, do you want to hold on and ask me some question at, at that stage? or if you, if you don't mind, yeah, I will. Yeah, okay, great. So we come back, we'll finish up the show with uh, Brent in Martinez, California. I think we'll probably take a look at the Spot Volatility Index, too, real quickly. We'll be right back, folks. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The U.S. deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once-in-a-generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar is worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. Introducing Primal Edge. Today, it's even more important to take a supplement that complements your health. Primal Edge is specifically formulated to boost your immune system and help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Our early ancestors found all their nutritional requirements in the wild environment. But today, our food sources don't contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients that we need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based, vitamins, minerals, fatty and amino acids in an easy to use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated humic and fulvic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air and water, without them life cannot exist. That's right, Ellen. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, just $89 exclusively at tfnn.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information.
Welcome back, uh, folks. Brent, I'll come to you in just a moment. I want to be able to share this with uh, you and in, in the audience as well. So here's the Dow Equity Future Contract. And so for those people that uh, have gone through my training, uh, they know about the Rhodes Momentum Indicator Signal. Uh, if the Dow, if the Dow Equity Future Contract closes just one tick above the open from six o'clock last night, that's going to generate a key reversal session. And that would then confirm a Rhodes Momentum Indicator top. However, I wouldn't jump to the short side. And the reason is because price is still just testing the oscillator and change line, which is green. And that's the whole purpose of that oscillator and change line, to keep you in trades longer. When is just a retracement, just a retracement back to support. And the Dow Equity Future contract right now is just testing support. And if you look at the 30-minute time frame chart, you're going to see that there's a Rose Momentum Indicator signal, not confirmation. I'm just going to go to the spot volatility index here. We can see that it is still trading below the 50-day exponential moving average. The 50-day exponential moving average is printed out at 2411. As long as price remains below that, the S&P 500 should move sideways to higher. And how do we know that? We know that because we track this. We track the 50-day exponential moving average. That's at the bottom portion of the screen. The top portion of your screen is the S&P 500. And if you just use this one tool, it would really be very helpful to you. So to summarize it, folks, right now, we've had nice retracement inside the equity markets. Nothing has been broken as of yet. Watch the Dow Equity Future Contract 30-minute time frame chart. It's very close to forming a hammer candle, but there's still three and a half minutes left in the session, so I can't confirm that. Hey, have a fantastic weekend, and we'll see you on Monday. Be safe out there.